Namaste. Welcome to episode 4 of Flutter Complete App Tutorial. Up until now, we have created a new Flutter project, designed our authentication UIs, and set up Firebase authentication to authenticate our users. Now, it's time to set up our database. For the database, we will be using Firestore database. First, we need to set up that Firestore database in our Firebase project that we created for this app. If you remember, in our previous episode, Flutter Authentication, we created a Flutter Notes app in our Firebase console. So, get to that project and go to the database section from the sidebar. Once in the database section, you'll be prompted to create your database. Press Create Database and we will start in the test mode so that we'll not have to set up any authentication rules, any database rules for our application for the test version. Click next. Choose the location because you cannot change this later. So for now, I'll just use the default, press done. Our database is now ready. So you can see this kind of UI where you can see the data, rules, indexes, and how to use documentation. So in the data section, let us plan our data structure for our app. As this is a simple notes app, for now, we will create a notes collection manually so that we can first load the data in our UI and later create data from our UI. So let's create notes collection, press next, and then document ID, let's keep it auto ID. And in notes, we want few fields. First, title, title is a string. Let's keep a simple title. And then this description, it's also a string. So this is, the description for my notes and let's add a new field created at so this gives the created timestamp okay let's select the selector date and time okay and let's save. So now we have a notes collection and notes document and we have a few fields. Okay, I'd like to add one more field that is the user ID field. So we know which user created this note. For that, I'll go to authentication section, copy the user ID of my user and in database, I will add the field user ID and paste it. So that later in our app, we can filter our nodes by user ID of whichever user is logged in. Let's add another document, nodes2. created at so timestamp date today time is 8 a.m. and id string user id all right so now we have two documents you can add few more if you like for now, I'll leave it at this. Next thing we need to do is, we need to set up Firestore plugin in our application. So to do that, go to pop.dev. Once there, search Cloud Firestore. 
WordPress. So first we need to add this dependency to our pubspec.yaml file. So let's open pubspec.yaml file and add this as dependency. Then in the readme section, if you see to use this plugin using Firebase console, add Android app to your project. We have done this already. Download the generated Google services.json file. We have done this also. And next modify Android build.gradle, Android app build.gradle to add Google services plugin. We have done this already uh, for our authentication. So I think we are ready to use it. So in order to use it, here are some documentation. So leave this for now. So once we have added the dependency, you should run flutter pop get. It is run automatically in VS code. Okay. Now it's time to get our Firebase documents and display it in our home page. Okay, in order to work with Firestore database, I have created a generic class and a abstract modal class. So that I'll share with this project. You can find it in the GitHub of this project. In this generic database service class, I use a generic type and it has a bunch of functions like get a single document, stream single document, stream of list of documents, get a query list so we can pass in arguments and query the documents. I'll show you how to use this DB service in order to load data, create data in our database. So it will be a lot easier than writing a custom Firestore query and uh, mapping your data into models. So this automatically does those kind of things. In order to do that, firstly, we need to create our notes model node. So let's create that. Note that dart in here, let's create class note final title ID description dead time created at user id first let us create a constructor okay. and we need to create another factory constructor node dot from ds in here we get string id and map string dynamic data from this we create our document title equals to data title and description user ID let's rename this user ID and title description user ID created at at dot to date if this is not null we need to convert it to Dead and one more field id so this will convert a document a snapshot from firestore into our node object next we need to map function map to map this should return return a map where title title description 
description created at created at user id user id right and let's make this a named parameter so it is easier to create this object using this constructor so we have our note model now we need to make an instance of this database service generic class to use our notes model so let's just do this down in this database service database service note let's import this let's just say note notes db is equal to database service note let's say import note and then So collection name is notes from DS from DS should be from DS and two maps should be we get a note here note dot to map okay note doesn't extend database item so we need to database item and here we need to pass super id and here we need to pass super id oh sorry i need to do this id comma data and pass this to id comma data okay so i have created an instance of notes db that we we can use to get notes from our Firestore database. Now, in the UI notes home, here we need to load the notes from our Firestore database. So, to do that, in the body, let's add a stream builder. Okay, stream builder. So a stream will be notes db dot stream list. So it will give us a stream of list of nodes. Stream list initial data is empty. And in a snapshot if not if snapshot dot has error return text was an error instead of container let's use center next if not snapshot dot has data then return circular progress indicator finally if there is data let us return list view dot builder item count should be snapshot dot data dot length so this snapshot is a list of list of node let's import this node okay and item builder should be context index this should for now return list style title text snapshot dot data index dot 
title okay this should show the list of nodes let's remove this comma app is rebuilding so i get an exception so the exception is the plugin not found exception i believe yeah missing plugin exception so this is because after we added the fire store plugin we have to rebuild our app so it will take some time to load the fire store and build our app so we got an error here that says the .dex file cannot exceed 64k if you get similar type of error we need to enable multi dex in our build.gradle file so open build.gradle inside android inside app here we need to add two things first in the default config add multi dex enable true and in the dependencies add implementation for multi dex now let us rebuild our application it should now successfully build our application okay it has now built our application it's running it's loading and finally we can see our nodes the two nodes that we created in our firebase console in the fire store so this is how we can load data from fire store and display it in our app as we have used stream builder whenever we change data in the back end it is automatically displayed in our front end so let's go and change change add a new node in our database and check how this automatically loads so add new document title new title adding description created at sorry created at timestamp let's use the date let's say of 3rd november time is 5 30 save so this is added and you can see it is automatically loaded so instead of stream builder if we have used future builder then we could not see those immediate changes so depending on the use case you can either use a stream or a future thank you everyone for watching this tutorial the code for this tutorial will be committed and pushed to github be sure to check it out